In 1990, John Wheeler suggested that information is fundamental to the physics of the universe. According to this it from bit doctrine, all things physical are information theoretic in origin. It from bit, otherwise put, every it, every particle, every field of force, even the space-time continuum itself, derives its function, its meaning, its very existence entirely, even if in some contexts indirectly, from the apparatus elicited answers to yes or no questions, binary choices, bits, it from bit symbolizes the idea that every item of the physical world has at bottom, a very deep bottom, in most instances, an immaterial source and explanation, that which we call reality arises in the last analysis from the posing of yes, no questions and the registering of equipment evoked responses, in short, that all things physical are information theoretic in origin and that this is a participatory universe. Wheeler speculated that reality is created by observers in the universe. How does something arise from nothing? John Wheeler asked about the existence of space and time. Wheeler also coined the term participatory anthropic principle, PAP, a version of a strong anthropic principle. The participatory anthropic principle, or PAP, is the idea that the universe requires observers, because without observers the universe could not actually exist. Many don't agree with John Wheeler, but if he's right then we and presumably other conscious observers throughout the universe are the creators, or at least the minds that make the universe manifest. In 1967, Conrad's use also suggested that the universe itself is running on a cellular automaton or similar computational structure, digital physics. In 1969, he published the book Rittenender Ron, translated into English as Calculating Space. This idea has attracted a lot of attention, since there is no physical evidence against Zuse's thesis. Edward Fredkin, 1980s, Jürgen Schmidt Huber 1990s, and others have expanded on it. Edward Fredkin's version of digital philosophy, DP, is one type of digital physics and pan computationalism. The school of philosophy called pan computationalism claims that all the physical processes of nature are forms of computation or information processing at the most fundamental level of reality. Pan computationalism is related to several larger schools of philosophy atomism, determinism, mechanism, monism, naturalism, philosophical realism, reductionism, and scientific empiricism. Pan-computationalists believe that biology reduces to chemistry reduces to physics reduces to the computation of information. Fredkin's career and achievements have much of their motivation in digital philosophy, a particular type of pan-computationalism described in Fredkin's papers, Introduction to Digital Philosophy, On the Soul, Finite Nature, A New Cosmogony, and Digital Mechanics. Fredkin's digital philosophy contains several fundamental ideas, everything in physics and physical reality must have a digital informational representation. All changes in physical nature are consequences of digital informational processes. Nature is finite and digital. A computational universe is proposed by Jürgen Schmidt-Huber in a paper based on Conrad's Hughes's assumption, 1967, that the history of the universe is computable. He pointed out that a simple explanation of the universe would be a Turing machine program to execute all possible programs computing all possible histories for all types of computable physical laws. He also pointed out that there is an optimally efficient way of computing all computable universes based on Leonid Levin's Universal Search Algorithm, 1973. In 2000, he expanded this work by combining Ray Solomonoff's theory of inductive inference with the assumption that quickly computable universes are more likely than others. This work on digital physics also led to limit computable generalizations of algorithmic information or Kolmogorov complexity and the concept of super-omegas, which are limit computable numbers that are even more random, in a certain sense, than Gregory Chaitin's number of wisdom omega. In physics and cosmology, digital physics, 
also referred to as digital ontology or digital philosophy, is a collection of theoretical perspectives based on the premise that the universe is describable by information. According to this theory, the universe can be conceived of as either the output of a deterministic or probabilistic computer program, a vast, digital computation device, or mathematically isomorphic to such a device. Compatronium is a material hypothesized by Norman Margulis and Tommaso Toffoli of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology to be used as programmable matter, a substrate for computer modeling of virtually any real object. It also refers to a theoretical arrangement of matter that is the best possible form of computing device for that amount of matter. Where some people see a divine hand, Others see a multiverse spawning an evolution of universes, with the boring, non-information bearing, ones dying out. Have a nice day. Meow meow meow.